second example with the baboons. So the question is, does changing the intensity of the light affect um, the amount of aggression between baboons? So they set up three different areas for them. Exhibit A has a lower light intensity. Exhibit B, just kind of the normal standard that they've been using. And then exhibit C with the brightest lights. Um, and it also indicates how many signs or incidences of aggression happened in each of those exhibits. Now, if we're going to do a chi-square test to help us determine if changing light intensity is significantly affecting the incidences of aggression, okay, then we're going to think back to our formula. And again, we need O and E. We're going to subtract O minus E. O minus E squared. And then you take that value, O minus E squared divided by expected, and eventually we're going to sum them all up. Over here in the first column, we're going to put our different categories that we're analyzing. So um, we have A, B, and C, but that's really not what the IV is. So I'm, just, I'm going to indicate that we have a lower light intensity. We're going to have what's considered normal. And then we have in the brighter brightest lights. Whenever we did the research, we counted the incidences of aggression. We got 36 observed at a lower light. We have 42. And then we have 45 in the brightest lights. Now, if you asked a typical person, did changing light affect the number or the number of incidences of aggression? I would say most people would say yes. And the brighter the light, the more incidents they would have. So we're going to see if that is in fact true by calculating this chi-square. All right. Now, again, this is the column that will trip people up. We're going to have some kind of percent up here in the corner. Now, if you think about it, if light is not having an effect, then we would expect an even number of incidences in our different exhibits. There's three different exhibits. Okay. Think about total. We ended up with um, 123 different incidents. Okay. And if the light's not affecting them, we would expect that we would see 33.3% of these incidences happen in exhibit A. Same with this one. It would be all even if light was having no effect on aggression. So that's where this 33.3% um, is coming from. Now, we're going to take this percent times the total on the bottom, and that's going to give you your number right there. So 33.3% or 0 0.333 times 123, because that's how many different uh, incidents occurred, gives us... 41. And then the same thing. Of course, it's going to be the same answer every time on this one. So it's 41. And if you think about it, so this is saying like, we're going to expect the light is not having an effect. Now we have an even number if this is how many incidences that normally are occurring. All right, now we're going to do our math. Before we do that, remember to check this column to make sure this is correct. Add these up. They should be 123. If these two numbers are the same, then you are on the right track. If this does not add up to this, then it means that you're probably doing something wrong in this column. I bet you're taking like 33.3% times 36 and putting a number there. Some people will do 33% uh, of 45 and put it there. Okay, so again, it should add up to the same. All right, now we're going to do the math. So when we subtract O minus E, that gives us um, a negative 5. Again, we're going to square it here, and that's going to disappear. Um, we have the difference between 42 and 41 is 1. 45 minus 41 is 4. This tells us to square it. So we're going to have 25. 1 squared is 1. 4 squared, which is, again, 4 times 4 is 16. Some people are doing 4 squared, so they think it's 4 times 2. So watch out for that. All right, this is the top number right here. 
So when we put 25 at the top, we have to divide it by the expected. In this case, it's 41 should be in exhibit A. Then we're going to take this number, number 1, divided by 41, which should be in B, if it's not affecting the aggression. And then we're going to do 16 divided by 41. All right, I like to write those all out and then grab my calculator and do all three. This is going to give me 0.6. 1 divided by 41 gives me 0 0.02. And then 16 divided by 41 gives me 0.39. And remember that fancy looking E in that formula means sum. I like to put my addition sign and my equal sign down here as something just to always help remember that whenever I'm done at this column, I'm not done until I finally add those up. So when you add up those three numbers, you should be at 1.01. .01. And then to answer the rest of these questions, you then have this as your official chi-square value right here, okay? And you're going to use it to help you determine if light is affecting the aggression or if it's not. You should be able to complete the rest using your notes as well.